Good morning guys, happy vlogmas day nine. Today I'm starting the day off with my orange theory class. I actually decided to take the 1045 class. I've been trying to take the 930 ones just to get it over with and be home earlier, but today I kind of wanted to get a bit of cleaning done before. And I did something so stupid. Our sink does not drain very fast, so our water's super high all the time. So I turned on the garbage disposal thinking it would help. And a shot glass got literally stuck in the garbage disposal and I literally can't get it out. It's not even like a glass one, so it can't even like break. It's like aluminum and it's just real, real stuck in there. So I'm gonna wait till Ryan gets home or someone to come help me fix it because I like tried so hard to get it out. I think I told y'all that I bought some SD cards on Black Friday and I'm so pissed because like literally all of them don't work in my larger Sony camera and the one that I put in this camera like it saved as a weird file. It was like .mts instead of like an mp4 or like the usual file format so now I have to go on this online converter and like literally convert each one singly and I think there's 63 clips from like vlogmas these past couple of days because I'm just starting to get to editing vlogmas day one through I guess nine now shit <laughs> um I literally just posted my Thanksgiving vlog yesterday and I'm so out of it but I want to get back like into the groove of things. So this week I'm going to grind it out and get them all up so that I can work more closely to the day I actually film the vlog and then I can like edit it that night. So I'm actually going to go ahead and drive over to Orange Theory and I'll talk to y'all later. I just got home from Orange Theory and Ryan came home for lunch. So hopefully he can get this shot glass out of our garbage disposal. Hi Sophie! Hi Bummy! Hi! All right, what tool are we using today? I'm just scared it's gonna like shatter, but it can't, like it's not glass, that's the thing. Ooh! No way. Did you get it? We can't reach it now. Damn it. Use your little hands. My little hands? Oh, <gasps> Ryan! Is too fucked up either? No, how how did that survive it? And I was actually really sad because I like started using it and I was like, damn, I like that thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ryan just left to go back to work and I actually didn't eat lunch yet because he's like in this health kick and I had some leftover pad thai and some Thai food from last night and I did not want to eat it in front of him because I know if like I was on the other side, I would not want to see that in front of my face. So I was just like waiting for him to go back to work. But I also want to shower before I eat so I can weigh myself. I honestly just love seeing like that I dropped down a little bit of weight after going to Orange Theory, even though I probably gain a little bit more eating throughout the day. So I'm going to go weigh myself. And after the shower, I have um, a lot of work to do. I think I told you guys about the SD card situation. It is taking so long because I have to do each one individually. Like I could pay for like a platform, but I'm not going to do that because I am not going to record in that format. Like now I know. So it's not worth it for me. So I have to um, transfer all those and export them into another format. So that's going to take a while. Um, but also yesterday I was supposed to get my car registered, but I was looking up what I need for the county tax office to like get it registered. And they said I needed like the title to my car, like the registration in the other state that you were just in. And I don't have that. So <laughs> I need to talk to my dad about that because I think he has that. Hopefully he can just email me it. I don't know if like it has to be the real paper or whatever, but I just want to get it over with because it's been on my to-do list for so long and it has to be done like within December because my like tag says December. So once it turns January, I'm could get pulled over. So, so hopefully I have enough time to get that figured out because I am going back to Georgia on um, December 21st. So, oh, also my friend Kaylin from college, she just texted me and she was like, are you going to be in Atlanta or Austin for New Year's Eve? And I was really scared that she was going to say she was coming to Austin for New Year's. I was going to be so sad, but she's actually coming to Atlanta. So I get to see her over Christmas break and I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to take them sightseeing and all that fun stuff. And honestly, I feel like I want to sightsee in Atlanta because I haven't done that in so long. So it'll be a fun little day. So it is almost 8 p.m. and I have my glasses on. Ryan was like, put on your glasses. We're going to go look at Christmas lights on houses. So it does not look up good on me. It did. I think she's straight here. I think something's odd. 
Maybe I need to like wear makeup, but that's sad. <laughs> Looks really weird. You're cute. But anyways, um, I thought <clears throat> these glasses, because I have a lazy eye, so this is like my bad eye. This is like supposed to be perfect. So I only have prescription in this eye. And I always thought like my glasses were supposed to help this eye better, and it really never did. When Ryan puts his glasses on me, I can see things so much clearer. And I never like thought like there was an issue with my good eye, but oh my god, like it's like a whole new world <laughs> with these glasses. And um, so I might be wearing them more. I just, they look really weird on me, but whatever, we'll get over it. But yeah, we're gonna go look at Christmas lights. Good morning y'all, it is December 10th and it is very late in the day, it is 2 p.m. Um, I've just been doing some like random things today. Um, I basically have to, well I already told y'all, I have to get my car registered here so that's been a big pain in my ass. Not that it's actually that much work to do it but just getting like all the paperwork together because um, my mom and dad had some of the paperwork and all of that, I don't know, it's just been on my to-do list and just eating me alive. I just have to do it before January hits. Um, well, actually December 21st, cause I go back to Georgia. And then when I come back, it's gonna be January. So I have to do it before that. Um, so I've been figuring out that this morning. Um, I've been editing some photos. I did um, a session for a UT's sorority council. So I just finished those today. I feel like I just did so many like random little things that were on my to-do list, which is good. One of the main things that I just did and that made me in such a better mood is, um, so I bought these, where are they? I bought these little Rode wireless go mics. So basically you can literally no, this is the transmitter. So you put this one on your camera and it's super duper small. And then you can wear this one like this on your shirt, pretty much like you clip it on your shirt. And basically this is just a mic and it's a wireless mic. So you don't have to have all those wires and stuff. Um, so I bought that literally on August 6th and I think I have barely used it. I think I may have used it maybe five times, like not that much and it like randomly stopped working so i was really sad about it because that duo right there that cost 200 bucks it's definitely not cheap and it's definitely not something that should break um especially with five uses so i contacted the support team and they said that i actually have a two-year warranty which is so good because usually i buy all my camera stuff used and this was like the only time i bought it off of bh photo so i was the original owner of this product which is like, I don't know, I guess I was lucky in that way. So basically they said that they would replace it or um, repair it, which I feel like it just needs to be replaced. But I'm so ready to get it fixed and I hope it doesn't take that long because I've been having a lot of video ideas pop up into my head, but I've been needing these mics to do that video. I know it was a trend a while back, but I wanted to do like top 10 bars here in Austin or top 10 coffee shops in Austin. Um, but I would definitely need that mic to have good audio. I'm still not caught up on Vlogmas just yet, but I'm getting there. So hopefully it's soon that I'm caught up. But I just wanted to give you the first little update of the day because I know I haven't really been vlogging that much. Haven't been in like the best vlogging mood, you know? If you guys have a YouTube channel, you would know it's very hard to get into the mood to vlog, especially when you're just sitting at home just doing normal work. Um, it's super easy to just vlog like when you're having fun and like out and have makeup on and all that because like obviously you want to vlog when you're doing stuff that is fun and that you want to share the memories and remember these memories but obviously I'm just home so <laughs> it's not anything too exciting over here. But it's 3 p.m. and I actually decided to put on a quick face of makeup and I am going to go to the grocery store to just get out of the house and also I need groceries because um, we don't have anything really for dinner and Brian's trying to eat healthy. I don't know if I told you guys this but he is starting like this boot camp thing um, for just the week he's trying it out so he's wanting to eat pretty healthy so I am going to try to cook healthy. It's very hard for me because obviously it's like way easier to just cook unhealthy foods, especially crave unhealthy foods. I mean, I know there's pre-made like zoodles, so I think I'm gonna go for that and then 
make like a chicken alfredo zoodle type dish for tonight and then tomorrow i'm gonna look into like some quinoa bowl type thing i've been really craving mushrooms i don't know why so i think i'm gonna get that too i'm gonna run to heb right now and get all that done before traffic starts home and i thought i would just do a little grocery haul while i put everything away so starting off we got some bacon i want to make these like blt kind of lettuce wraps we got some chicken um quinoa because i'm gonna make those quinoa bowls these fresh raspberries because they look so good and i'm actually gonna eat them now because they look delicious okay i got lactate milk you guys know i'm lactose intolerant <laughs> and then i got some juice i got orange peach mango this is um, oven roasted turkey breast and by the way, I know I am using Plastic bags, but these are Walmart bags that I've been like reusing and they were conveniently in my car because I Totally forgot that I had to have my own bags for HEB um, So thank God they were in my car. I have to put them back so I don't forget it next time I go to HEB I got roasted red pepper hummus and I got carrots to go along with that right here little baby carrots then I got some more eggs. We already have eggs, but this one recipe I wanna do calls for like 10 eggs, so I didn't wanna be too short. Um, I got Baby Bella mushrooms. I love cooking mushrooms. They're literally the easiest thing you could ever cook, I feel like. For the zoodles, I'm gonna do a garlic Alfredo. So, probably not the healthiest, but we are having zoodles, so I feel like that's really healthy in itself. But I got some coconut milk. Then I got some Greek vanilla yogurt for another recipe I want to do. I got some oats. I was thinking I should start making a smoothies. So I got this Carb Smart Briars ice cream um, so that I could like put a little bit of that in my smoothies because I love just it to be a little bit more sugary than just like the normal fruit sugars. Um, so I got uh frozen bananas and then i also got frozen strawberries then i got buffalo sauce but i wanted to make these buffalo cauliflower bite things and i forgot the cauliflower so that was like the only thing i forgot that's a pretty successful grocery trip if i only forgot one thing honestly i got some lettuce scoops lettuce leaves because um i want to make like those blt wraps that i was talking about the infamous zoodles if you guys don't know what this is, it's just like zucchini spirals. Um, and it's just nice because it's pre-made and you don't have to do it. I got green beans because I love making these like garlic green beans. And Ryan, for some reason, doesn't like the way I cook them. He likes his green beans to be mushy, but I like them to be like crunchy. So I'm just going to have to figure out how to like compromise, you know, like make his a little bit more cooked, I guess. Got some spinach. Um, these are for the quinoa bowls. Some some blueberries for a recipe I want to make. Um, the recipe is like these muffin things. So hopefully those turn out good. The cashier literally asked me. He was like, "What the hell is this?" It's a uh, butternut squash. Every time I come home, I feel like my mom makes this. I don't know how she makes it, but it's so freaking good. So I'm gonna ask her how she makes it and make it the way she does. Um, I got just some tomatoes for the BLT wraps. And the last thing I got are mangoes. And I'm so excited because these feel so ripe and I'm just very excited to eat those. So that is all I got from the grocery store. The total was like $85. I feel like I got a lot of food for $85. So I'm kind of proud of myself. But now is the fun part, putting it all away and organizing my refrigerator. So I just cooked the zoodles and they look so good. I'm very excited to try this, um, but I feel like it doesn't look like that much food, especially when I'm gonna like split it up for me and Ryan, because I feel like our biggest problem, or I don't know about his, but my biggest problem is portion size, and I just feel like I eat so much because, especially when I'm serving the both of us, I give us the same amount of food, which is so bad, and I know it, because obviously he's way bigger than me and taller than me, and he needs more food, um, so hopefully this is enough. Hopefully it keeps him full. I'm just like worried about keeping him full. Um, but it should be a good dinner. I basically cooked the zucchini noodles for 
like, I don't know, four minutes. It was really, really fast. I baked the chicken just because I'm not very good at cooking meats. So I just like to bake the chicken just to make sure it's all cooked through. And then I threw the Alfredo sauce in there and then did some pepper on top. So should be really good. So this is what it looks like plated. I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look like that much, but Hopefully it fills us up. It is 8 p.m. and we are about to head out to go to Mozart's Coffee. It's this place on the river that has these crazy, insane Christmas lights. We are at Mozart's Coffee and here they have a light show at the top of every hour. So we're gonna check it out. Good morning y'all, it is December 11th and I'm starting the day off by going to a shoot with this awesome blogger, her name is Shruti, The Honest Truth. And I'm so excited because we are gonna be creating so much content this upcoming year together. So look out for that on her blog and her Instagram. I decided to get full glam today because sometimes like when you work from home and you don't wear makeup all the time, it just makes you feel that much lazier. So I just wanted to put on some makeup so that I could have like a really pretty productive day after the shoot. I'm gonna go head over there. I think it's a little less than 20 minutes away, so I'll talk to y'all later. Hi! It's a good day in Austin, Texas. Yes, Shruti is so prepared. We got all the stuff to do some blog content today. And her little fake baby right here. She has a real baby at home, but <laughs> we don't want to bring her on the cold, but yeah, doing some outfit changes. Getting that content in. Oh. <laughs> I'm back home from the shoot. It went so well. I have them importing right now and then I'm gonna send her like all the unedited photos because obviously she's a blogger. She knows how to edit her photos um, the way she wants to. So she just does that. Um, today I'm going to make Ryan some lunch. I don't know if I really want this, but maybe I'll have some. I'm gonna try to, cause I have like leftover chicken from last night and I didn't use all the chicken. So I wanted to make these like lettuce buffalo wraps. And yes, I probably shouldn't be using minute rice, but it's just so freaking easy. So that's what we're gonna be using today. I started to get really sleepy, so I ended up baking muffins and they look so freaking good. Like I am so shook. <laughs> They're basically like these banana blueberry oatmeal muffins. So we will see how they taste. Update on the muffins. They were good if you like being healthy, but if you have a huge sweet tooth like me and like are used to eating kind of bad, <laughs> then they might not be the best because they're made with like bananas instead of like the flour muffins, if that makes sense. So they're good. I honestly just had to put a little brown sugar on the top and they were good, but it just needed a little bit more sugar, just a little bit. I'm gonna meet Ryan at the BMW dealership because something's wrong with his car. So he just needs to like drop it off and I'm gonna go pick him up. And he said he was craving sushi and it's only been like three days of us eating healthy, which sushi isn't that unhealthy, but we're really craving the nigiri and like all the specialty rolls at Sushi Genai. I think I put it in my last vlog, but we had all you can eat there and there nigiri was so good and i've been craving it so bad so since he said it you know now i want it super bad so we might go there for dinner but like also my mentality is always like try to eat at home on the weekdays and save it for like fun on the weekend so i ended up cooking dinner i made this quinoa and brown rice and some mushrooms and spinach dinner was really good it was surprisingly really filling especially for people who don't eat like super healthy like that. My favorite part was definitely the mushrooms. And also, I don't know if I updated you guys on yesterday's dinner, but the zoodles were so, so good. Highly recommend the zoodles. And I'll show you exactly the sauce I used because it was definitely mostly the sauce. This is it. It is the garlic, garlic Alfredo. It is so yummy. I actually just got invited to someone's wine party last minute, so I thought I would just stop by before we go to Zilker. So I'm gonna head to that. Here, wait, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the center. Yeah. <laughs> what do you call that, Sonali, when something is like this? 
I'm back home. I'm so glad I went to that wine night. It was so much fun and I met new people which is even better um, We actually ended up not going to Zilker tonight because I thought I should just save it for Tomorrow and have something fun to do then so definitely look out for that vlog and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye